What is going on, everybody? So I recently installed a four terabyte SSD into an ROG Ally X, and the process was surprisingly easy. Now with installing a full size SSD into your ROG Ally X, there are certain things you need to look into and look out for. First of all, opening the ROG Ally X is not going to be easy. What I tend to use is my iFixit case that I got from my local Best Buy. If you don't have a local Best Buy, you can easily get an iFixit case at Amazon or get it from bestbuy.com and they can ship it to you. But usually people will rather get a product like that from Amazon since it probably ships faster. Now, while opening the actual ROG Ally case, I did find that it had a sort of strip connected to the back plate and the system itself. Now that strip is connected to the macro buttons in the back. So before just ripping the ROG Ally X open with that little squeegee that comes with an iFixit or any other squeegee that you may have, you gotta make sure to disconnect that strip. Now, besides that, the SSD in the actual system is pretty much exposed but the only thing I needed to kind of move over was the plug that connects directly to the battery and the ROG Ally X. Now besides those two objects in the way you can easily just install an SSD especially if you have some kind of heat sink on top of it like the Samsung SSD that I installed in this ROG Ally X had with it. So if you have kind of a thick heat sink don't worry about it there's plenty of space between the back plate of the ROG Ally X and the actual system itself. And after I installed it, I closed it up and backing up the system was very easy. All I had to do was go into the command center, go into cloud storage and make sure I was connected to the Internet so I can back up the actual Windows 11 operating system already inside of the ROG Ally X. Now, of course, before I started this whole process, I made sure that the ROG Ally X worked. I tried at least one game to make sure that the analog sticks worked. And a lot of tutorials out there just tell you how to install your SSD, but not exactly what to do or how to prep. But yes, of course, make sure that all of the keys are working if you have to go to Armory Crate and calibrate every single key, trigger, and analog stick. Now, it's your choice to update all of the system software on your first test for your Ally X. I personally installed all of the updates just to make sure that Armory Crate wasn't messing with any kind of analog function with the Ally X. But before updating everything, it seemed to work perfectly fine. Even that newer update that was just terrible seemed to work with the ROG Ally X great. But yeah, the overall experience of installing an SSD in the ROG Ally X was extremely easy. I haven't had such a great time. It wasn't the best in terms of opening, installing, and all that, but it's a full-fledged Windows PC in a handheld form factor. So you're not going to get the most simplistic step-by-step -step installation that you would get with something like a Steam Deck because that is probably more simplified since it is kind of a console PC hybrid. But with the RG Ally X, it was surprisingly easy because of ASUS's software that they have set for you to upload your operating system into the cloud and then download it again so you can successfully install the OS and get the system up and running. It took around an hour and a half to do all that. And most of the reason why it took so long is because I was trying to pry the thing open. Now, actually opening this sturdy ROG Ally X was a lot more difficult than opening the original ROG Ally, just because I feel like they used thicker plastic or just sturdier material overall. So yeah, if you were scared about installing an SSD into your ROG Ally X, I'm here to say, don't worry about it. I was terrified to do it, but I had to. And I mainly wasn't that scared because I was installing it for someone else, but somehow that made me a little more paranoid because if it broke, it would just be my fault and I would have to pay for it or I'd have to return it and it would just be a longer process altogether. But generally, the process of installing an SSD in the ROG Ally X has been relatively easy. And so far, everything's still working perfectly fine. I've checked in every once in a while. And yeah, there haven't been any big issues with the controls or the interior of the ROG Ally X. It seems like I didn't chip any sort of plastic piece. I didn't break anything, which is a good thing. So opening this sturdy handheld with no surprise was a bit difficult, but it was actually more difficult to break any piece inside because it was so sturdy. Now they shut this thing pretty tight. So if you have that little plastic piece that looks like a guitar pick in your iFixit case, at certain points while prying this thing open, that really wasn't enough. There's another piece that you can actually use to pry the ROG Ally X open. So I started using both tools at the same time. 
and that was sweat inducing. But yeah, have you installed an SSD into your ROG Ally X? And if you have, how was that experience? Let me know in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one. Later.